kind of halting any progression in in discussion. Um, I don't I don't know about trying to abide by any sort of schedule in such an NTP heavy community. Uh, we can try that. That might be a cool idea. That way we actually force ourselves to at least do something at least, you know, once a week. Um, okay. You know, have it. I think having a moderator might might be a might be a cool idea if we're doing it in a kind of a, de, a debate style. If it has to be that way, I think if you want it to be a more heavy, friendly environment, then it it should be just more of a friendly discussion to begin with. However, that's very disorganized. Um, so I don't know how we solve the problem of disorganization in the discussion of a topic. Um, okay. you know, we can just take, choose an order, I guess. Um, who am I on? Uh, she, you got anything to say about it? She's drunk. She writes nudity. Uh, I'll see. <laughs> No, nothing to add. Susanna. I think it sounds awfully structured. Mm. Yeah. Maybe if we were going Nick. to do something organized, pick a topic. And. Hmm? You say something, Eric? Okay. Oh, we yeah, like I, I, I accidentally thought you were over too soon and I had to, this effy shit. Um, yeah. We haven't gotten so, that far yeah, yet. Yeah. That? yeah, well, the, how it was suggested sounded awfully uh, structured, but what could be done is to pick a topic ahead of time and give people a chance to know what they're going to talk about and then just do it like normally, then people will be better prepared. I don't want to be prepared. I want to do things freestyle. Well, I want to ask you some questions, Eric. What has helped? What has this type of problem arose in the past? P style. That's right. No, well, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's it's a situation. Has this, okay, has this subject matter come up in the past? Definitely make use of our penis. Yeah, I guess. The, the thing is, before we. Asking more questions, and I do want you to ask me questions. I want to answer them. I want to say this, which is my thinking on it is the big mistake we keep having when we think about this shit. Is we try to come up with a oh, something regular. The regular, the regular part is the problem. I think we need to come up with a methodology that's not regular like this. Instead of saying, "Oh, let's let's come up with an idea we all agree on" or something like that. Let's do only one-offs. So if you have, if we come up with an idea for one, making one video, then we try to execute that one idea. And that's it. You know, like what we should do if like what you basically what you said about topics. You know, we'll come up with a topic, but instead of having something scheduled, say, um, I'm going to be here at this time on Monday making a video like this. I will hope to get other people here too. If you have an idea or something, like if you want my cooperation, if you like. I want to see you, Eric, make a video that's like this, and I'd be happy to cooperate, obviously. And if you want to do your own thing, that's fine too. Whatever. I think that's the better way to for for NTPs mostly to to structure something. It's more te action. It's more te actuated. It's like we're we're saying I'm going to do actual te shit, which is we're going to do something of the scope that you can do it as a single unit rather than something expanded beyond that. That sounds much more realistic. Think? Besides, that's TE. I mean, doing one thing. I was thinking maybe a couple of Slack channels. We could have like the requests, you know, channel on Slack where people could say, hey, I wish Nick would do a video about this or whatever. Or, and then maybe like a proposal or like Bat Signal channel that says, hey, I want to do a topic on this. 
and I want to do it at this time, and then people can kind of know what's going on, but really loose like that. That's concrete. Just having a channel there is like if people use it, they use it. If they don't, they don't. And then I think the real way to get things, those things communicated, nobody's going to check a central resource. It's just to if you if you actually have the idea, what what makes it happen is bringing sufficient impetus behind it to make it happen. So if if I go, I'm serious, you guys. Tuesday night we're having a cranberry juice drinking contest. And we're all gonna have as much cranberry juice as possible because I gotta pass the drug test. I thought it'd be fun to have a contest. Or you know, that. You know or Mary and, both. And I of keep those. talking about it. I'm like, remember, remember, if I do all the fucking legwork, people some people will show up for sure and I'll be able to make my video, whatever it is. Yeah, this is way different than what Jacob was talking about though. Just so you know. Yeah. Oh, about the me talking yeah, too much. Yeah, the original conversation. Absolutely, there. completely different. Okay. The original conversation was. It was on one of the videos recently. It's Jacob Shane's Eric <laughs> video. It was fun. I, I mean, I didn't get my. Well, it's basically about yeah. you you hogging the discussion. Is, am I getting the gist of it? Yeah, I mean, basically. And that okay. and uh, what else did he say? Well, he also said some things that are patently untrue. Such as, I agree. Like, I agree. like I like people obey me or something. Well, it's that's ridiculous. why. That's why. Uh, well, yeah, you know, really I used, to, I used much, to intervene but. with you saying ridiculous shit because you didn't know how you're going to be perceived on that shit and people are going to misunderstand you. What have you? Me, Nick? You're evaluating on perceptions. I'm evaluating oh, on actually which is right, which is wrong. Okay. That's, well, I mean, seriously, it's not like it's about it's always about perception. Sometimes you got to just be like, the perception. Uh, why are they mutually exclusive? No, they're not. But okay. but the thing is, don't complain them. I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm mediating this. Video, video, God damn it. You guys shut the hell up. Okay, so I want to also ask you guys, I'm assuming many of you probably don't really watch a lot of videos, but if you do watch some occasionally, the edited videos, I like to watch them, but they don't get more views than other random videos, and they're not necessarily more well-received. So... I don't understand what do you guys think about what content plays best to an audience. Well, I think the issue with that is that the edited videos are geared towards generally people that already watch or at least participate in this. And so like someone who goes on YouTube and does just a random search for NBTI videos or socionics videos isn't going to stumble across that. It's, People who are already your subscribers are going to watch it. But if you have a titled video about INTPs and why they act this way or something, it's going to show up when someone does a search in YouTube and it's probably going to get more views. I mean, yeah, that's how I found the channel was I was looking up stuff for INTPs. Yeah. I've actually I've said a similar thing before is that we get a lot of our new people who do end up somehow stumbling across a video from this channel on YouTube. Somehow, some Just way, keep some coming people up. People who are searching for like MBTI-related stuff or whatever. And that's how they end up being a member of the community to begin with. So, I mean, that's definitely a really good perspective to keep in mind, I guess. If you're trying to attract traffic, at least. Who's who's abusing their their keyboard? It sounds like spacey, but it's not spacey. It's one of the blankets. No, with you. Susanna, so, I am tired of you always blaming everything on the black kid. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah, just mute the blank people. It's them. It's the one that's typing right now. So, Courtney, I'm putting a video right now of just Courtney explaining why New Age um, notions of a 
of a spiritual understanding of death beyond other than a theist one or a fundamentally atheist, but she does a, she does a pretty slamming job of it. Really, I want to see that. I like sure Courtney. Yeah. yeah. It's my nigga. She sure is. She sure is. I mean, I like Courtney too. But all y'all's my niggas. So. Courtney makes good. There's a lot of good clips with Courtney in them. And she's interesting because, of course. Like in this video, well, she has a way of of sounding dumb, even when she's saying something really smart. <laughs> well, that's the thing. That's why she's that's why she's often underestimated. Yeah, it's. <laughs> He's right. I can the accent. Coding this fly. <laughs> so. You're lagging, Eric. This land is your land. This land is, what they say. Yes. You've been killing them late, late them weights, Elsie. They're nicely stacked. They're very symmetrical. Of course they are. Mine would be all. <laughs> I'd have one in one room, one missing, two of the same kind, but, which would mean it's a pair, actually. I don't know what I'm saying. That's right. I can't even tell you that far what's actually going to end up happening to all those weights. Because it's really impossible to predict what might happen. To Space those. is right. And what are we predicting about? And how neatly stacked and organized Elsie's things are. It's a lie. I kind of want to prop just... things. Her bed looks very comfortable. She has like, a, I'm not organized, but I'm neurotic enough to look organized. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Eric, your video is going to suck. You're cutting out, boy. This is a stupid video. Super stupid yeah. video. I wouldn't want to be sitting through this video right now. Nope. Me neither. <sighs> so how about how how about we doing? All right. Uh, you, Jules, you've been missing in the mix. Jules right about getting more hits. So we gotta just do shit like that. Jules right about most talk things. about <laughs> yeah, <laughs> certain types or certain functions or whatever and have a really smart sounding discussion about that shit. I agree. Yeah. Because, I mean, really, MBTI is about learning about yourself. I mean, most people use it as a tool to learn about themselves. So when they yeah. do a search for it, they're wanting content that's going to be instructional, really, or, or right. educational in that way, you know? Yeah, and then, then the hopefully, they stick around for the more entertaining stuff. Okay. And then we get them into the cult. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, then they were like, hey, they're like, "Whoa, I can just jump in here." And okay. Then we tell them they have to sacrifice their firstborn. But then, you get a crown if you do. Then we make sure they get in a huge fucking argument, and then if they actually come back after that huge argument, then they're part of the cult. Yeah. yeah. Initiation debate. <laughs> yeah. There has to be an initiation drama explosion. My initiation. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a debate. It's a drama explosion. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you well, had I a remember minor that video was yesterday, Nick. Gosh. Your entrance. <laughs> and then re-entrance. <laughs> and then re-entrance again. I think that almost has the most views on the entire Raw channel. 